Alex here with another video on high conflict child custody. In this video, I cover um, the issue of wanting child support to be accounted for. This is actually a pretty popular thing that I see on Facebook, or sometimes people will message me um, saying that their ex is abusing the way they spend the child support monies that they want it to be like spent on the children and such. Okay, so the legal answer to this is no. Like, there's no provision in the law that requires somebody to do an accounting of where they um, are putting the child support money at. Um, sometimes people will ask, maybe I can ask to have the child support money go into like an account that the kids can have when they, you know, go past 18 or um, like to go to college or something. You can sometimes get your ex to agree to this, but um, my opinion is that if your ex doesn't agree to it, you shouldn't make a big deal out of it because the judge, at least not in Nevada, they don't have any authority to make to to impose these kinds of requirements. And if you push it like a lot, you could come off as as just being really vindictive and spiteful. Um, I understand how I mean anyone's going to understand that. Um, you're obviously you don't like your ex, and at the very least, if you're going to be forking over hundreds of dollars a month, you don't want your your ex to benefit from it. You want your kids to benefit from it. Some people say it's called child support for a reason. Um, the, the 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 legal answer is as it is. There's nothing in the statutes that requires an accounting, and um, there's no discretion for the court to do that. It's just going to get number one. It's going to get in the way of the court if they have to review those kinds of details on a, on a hearing. Like somebody's alleging that you're spending the money on yourself. And now you have to like prove that you spent it on your kids, and you you turn it into such a huge obligation, not just for the court, but for the other parent. And I guess for some people who really hate their exes, they like the sound of that. But um, let me just go on to the actual practical answer. If somebody is wasting money, and and I mean, whether it's child support or not, if they're wasting money and the kids are suffering, it's really a custody issue. And by focusing so much on the child support, you kind of miss the point. Um, child support monies are hard to account for because it's not so simple as just creating like an itemized list of clothing and like school supplies. Like rent. I mean, child support goes towards rent because you might need an extra room for each child or for the children. And, um, you know, transportation, you, you just can't really divide all of this stuff. And even if you did have to, uh, even if you could force your ex to show like an accounting, they could just really cook the books. And I know some people will say, well, I can prove that they're cooking the books. You know, uh, going back to the same problem, you're turning this issue into something that is just not manageable in the way you're trying to manage it. So what I tell people is, it's either so bad that your kids have nothing, like they have no clothes or, or clothes with holes in them, clothes that's too small, they're not getting taken to school because there's no car or you know no gas money, whatever. Either it's that kind of a problem, in which case you can turn it into a custody issue and obtain and get yourself primary physical custody or joint physical custody which would thus cause the children to live with you more which would thus cause the child support to go down or even cause you to receive child support or you just leave it alone um, if it's not so bad that you can show it in obvious terms and obvi uh, the, the children are obviously suffering from not being taken care of obviously your ex can't say I lost my job and I'm in dire straits right now when they're receiving like $800 a month in child support or something like that. Um, I suppose if it's if it's like a small amount, like if, they're, if you're only giving them $50 and the children are suffering but you're both poor, then they're going to have a good defense for that. But I mean, if they're going through dire straits and um, they're squandering, you know, the food stamps, the TANF, which is I think welfare assistance, cash assistance, and your child support, that should be enough to show that they're not putting their children first and that it's not in the best interest of the children to reside primarily with that parent and so the argument should be you know change custody not I have a problem with how the child support money is being spent and then and then what are you gonna do about that really um, reduce the amount or you know have them help thrown in jail for not spending it wisely seriously either make a child custody issue out of it if you can or leave it alone and um, I've both paid and received child support. In the beginning, I paid like $200 a month in child support. It was just temporary order um, because as soon as the actual dispositive order came out, I got joint physical custody. And because I was earning less than my ex, I got I got to receive child support. But the, during the first like 
I don't know, three months, four months, when temporary orders were in place, I did have to pay child support, and I never thought, oh, I'm going to make her approve of what she's spending every penny on. And then when I was receiving child support, ironically, um, that was one of the things that she said. She tried to say that I was spending it on, not on my son. And I mean, seriously, it's just, it doesn't come off good. Um, so anyway, uh, with that, I'm going to end this video. Again, I'll remind everyone, you're either going to make this into a child custody issue and modify child custody, which is hard to do, or you should just leave it alone. Um, unless, this, unless the legislature uh, changes the law in your state and requires that kind of accounting, there's really nothing you can do except for a waste of time, waste your money arguing it in court, and possibly come off looking uh, vindictive or uh, spiteful, in which case um, it's going to you know backfire on you anyway. So with that, I'll end this video. Looking forward to see some comments on this if anyone has any uh, with that. See you guys next time. Bye.